Okay, so let's go to the next part. It says practical halakha concerning bl blood spots. Okay, since nowadays most of the eggs are from, are from hands that are raised without roosters being present, the following hal halakha supply. Okay, number one. Initially, eggs should be checked before using. Okay, the eggs should be opened into glass, um, glass utensils for inspection before it's mixed into the other food. So, as we said before, like uh, try to open in, 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 a, in a cup, in a glass. Uh, we use like uh, this, uh, uh, like storage container, the Pyrex, right? It's like two cups glass. It's uh, it's like uh, you, you see everything clear. Right, and, and then and then from this we you we pour the egg into whatever mixture you need. Okay, so check them basically check them separately. Otherwise, if you if you put them like inside, if you if you if you just um, break the eggs and uh, pour it in into the mixture, so now as we said, you have to remove if there is a blood spot, you you have to remove as much as possible. So it's big bother. So it's and easier to see when it's in a separate container. That's it. So next one. If egg was not checked, the food may be eaten. Some are strict with regard to um, eating food containing unexpected eggs. So especially like I, I would say in egg salad, right? So in the store that they sell egg salads, do they check eggs? No, there is no no way for them to check these eggs. So these people would not uh, would not eat the uh, egg salad. I mean, unless uh, they, they they rely on this. Uh, on this um, this castle of three eggs, I'm not sure what, what they do. Okay, uh, continue. Number three: um, if eggs um, if egg was cooked in a pot and found to have blood spot, the eggs should be discarded, um, but the pot need not to be cautious. So, as, as we said, if it's not from this uh, fer fertilized eggs, there is no problem with the pot. Okay, but egg you cannot eat. Okay. Next one, if egg with a blood spot was mistakenly mixed into a bowl of other eggs, one should remove the blood and as much of the egg as possible. So that, that's it. So it's not, that's why, that's why CC number one, as we said, like break them, break the egg in a separate container. There is no problem. And, and then pour it into the, the mixture. If, uh, but, but after the fact, try to remove as much as possible from that egg. If egg, if the egg and the and the blood were lost in the food, food may be eaten. So if like I don't know, I, I guess uh, like in my mind, how is it possible? So maybe when when somebody like it's 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 already the, the mixture is already in the mixer, and the person say, oh, I forgot to I want I need to add one egg and break the egg and, uh, and uh, like pour into into the mixture and then see oh. It was blood, so and uh, but it's already too late. So that's my only example, right? So after the fact, you can eat it. Um, some have a custom to always cook in three eggs or more. So right, because as we said, there is no no way for to to check the cooked eggs. I mean, you, okay, actually you can I guess. Uh, one who um, who has a custom should uh, should continue keeping it. Uh, even though it is halakhically uh, not halakhically necessary, so um, so the custom is called in Hebrew minhag. So minhag is uh, is very very important to keep. So whatever is it. So and some some people some ignorant people they make uh, sometimes fun fun about other people people minhagim, right? But if it was uh, uh, for many many generations, for hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of years. Right, so we don't care about what other people say. We just continue doing. So minhak, and if you read backwards, again no. Right? Okay. If one finds an egg that is completely bloody, a rough should be consulted. So that could be like a, one of these fertilized eggs. So I, I would say in this case, just go stringently. Don't ask anybody. Uh, I mean, you, of course, you, you can you can consult with rabbi, but it's better since we do not know and there is no way to prove, and it's very very unusual, right? So maybe maybe it's a huge problem and you you have to like throw out, uh, like uh, like throw out for sure, 
but uh, can't just cancel your utensil when we are very cool. It's very simple. You just have another utensil, and we we're going to uh, learn in this class how to cancel your kitchen from A to Z. It's very it's not it's not uh, hard at all. Okay, and uh, just just cancel this uh, part just in case. That's it. <clears throat> Continue. Uh, one who uses fertilized eggs may not follow this leniency. Uh, linen halachas. Uh, if blood uh, spot is found, the act is discarded. If the act was cooked in a pot, the pot must be kosher. So it's very simple. The pot must be kosher. If the act was mixed uh, into other foods, a rab must be consulted. So one, let, let's read one, one more time. So is the visit fertilized eggs? It's clear. It's like in olden days. If blood spot was found, the eggs is discarded completely. So today we said it's uh, preferable to discard. But if he forgot or this that or it was too late, no problem. If an egg was cooked in a pot, the pot must be kosher. So in our case, if uh, like uh, since this uh, this most likely not fertilized eggs. We said throw out the egg, but not uh, not obligated to cash the pot, right? But the, in this case, since it was uh, fertilized eggs, you must cash the pot as well. If um, egg was mixed into uh, into other foods, rum must be consulted. So I, I I guess like like after after the fact, we need to to establish that it's, it's one to sixty. Most likely it is one to sixty, but we measure not uh, not not to the spot itself. So. Um, we have to understand the whole egg is forbidden. The whole egg is forbidden in this case, right? Because this um, uh, this blood spot just show that uh, it, it was fertilized. So it's like indication of that uh, the eggs was fertilized. So if it was fertilized, so now we, we have to determine. That's what uh, I'm, I'm telling. What what Rabbi is going to establish? Try to establish if uh, the whole content of whatever you you are cooking was one to sixty. To egg, it's uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's not it's not such a, a simple thing to determine. Right? Okay. Any questions on what we said? So we finish with uh, this topic, eggs. Okay. No questions. Continue then. So next topic is uh, halif. So halif is fats, but but not all of the fats. Uh, that is halif uh, is forbidden fats. Okay. Um, uh, the, Rabbi, I have a quick question. Please, go ahead. Did you say we can't cook more than two eggs at a time? No, no, I did not say that. Uh, we said that uh, if, if we use regular eggs, regular, not uh, not uh, this uh, fertilized eggs, not, not to the fancy schmancy, like from organic store or something, health store. So if you use uh, regular eggs, so the, the custom is if you if you add uh, you, if you uh, boil three eggs there is no problem. So if oh two eggs there is a problem. That's uh, that's what we said. You understand? So but it's only about boiling because it's like a, there is no 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 way like before the boiling there is no way for you to check. So if it's three eggs and you found the blood, uh, like after after you start peeling the egg and you will find the blood in there, so you you don't have to cash the the utensil and uh, both uh, two other eggs are permitted. There is no problem. So the the reason is since I'm, I'm just answering since you asked the question. Uh, so biblically we go by by majority. So biblically, if it's fifty one percent. Or something like uh, uh, fifty-one percent permissible, forty-nine percent prohibited. So we go by majority and we make it per permissible. But rabbis, and uh, it's our topic today. Somebody asked uh, asked the question, what uh, what exactly rabbi did? So they put the fences around this, right, about this halacha. So it's a very, so uh, according to biblically, we go by majority. But uh, rabbinically, we don't don't go by majority. Uh, rabbinically, we, say we go one to sixty. So it's uh, one to sixty, meaning sixty-one parts against one part, basically like, like this. Okay. So in this case, right? In this case, uh, uh, we go by majority. So they, they give us rabbis give us this leniency. You you boil three eggs, 
in one of them you found uh, the blood, so the, co the utensils stay kosher, you, you don't have to kosher it unless it's this fertilized eggs. And uh, plus, uh, you, you don't have to throw out uh, other two. That's, that's it. Okay.